Hello, I'm Sally Jo Horton and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Lancashire and the North West. Um, I've come to you today to uh, show you some little makes that I've been making at the craft desk and they're uh, some little cinnamon bundles. Uh, I think um, I've got a, a home decor and a Christmas theme going on at the minute, but quite neutral. But they were inspired by um, a swap, a team gift I was given a couple of I think over a year ago now. Um, it, I think the box was given to me by a lovely lady called Angela Dawes and it had a lovely cinnamon stick on and some of our seam binding and the Chantilly trim and I just thought, oh, that is so gorgeous. It's a couple of retired products on there but I thought I could do something this Christmas myself so I've made these cinnamon bundles. Um, I'm just going to show you today how easy they are to put together. You can buy cinnamon sticks for decoration purposes. These were from a big... Uh, DIY store that does a fantastic Christmas range um, I think it's called Q&B if you get the uh, hidden meaning there uh, so they're not edible cinnamon sticks these these are decoration ones uh, I'll just uh, take you through what products I'm using in the catalogue today some of the papers are very easy to overlook but one of the, my favourites is the first edition specialty papers and you do get 24 sheets, four of each, and you'll find that you'll absolute. I'm only using absolute morsels of 12, 12 by 12, of a 12 by 12 sheet to make this project. So they really do go a long way. Another product I'm using is our crochet trim, and again on the page layout of our main annual catalogue. Can you see the front cover there? So you know which book I'm singing from. Uh, the trims, this year they haven't gone into as much detail, just showing you what's what. And sometimes it just doesn't show them off to the best. So this is the crochet trim and it is absolutely a stunning product. There it is in the catalogue. You can't see the gorgeousness of it. I'm absolutely using the smallest morsels of this. So, it, you know, I am a scrimper and a saver. It does go a long way. And for 6.25 you get uh, 4.6 metres so that's quite a substantial amount. I'm also using some of the seam binding. And this is another star product that goes a long way. It comes in a variety of colours, but the one I have is my favourite standby is the crumb cake. It's absolutely fantastic. You can scrunch it up, make like a dead tattered, altered look. You know, just really change up your projects or make lovely stunning bows. So again, one of those hidden gem products. It's a lovely accessory and, you know, just adds that finishing touch to your project. But here we go. How easy is it to make the cinnamon stick bundles? I'm just going to show you now. I'm using a, a, a glue gun. Um, whether you don't, if you don't have one of these, it isn't an item we stock at Stamping Up because uh, I'll, they're sold so commonly in DIY stores and things. This is one I've had for many a year. So all I'm going to do is use the silicone mat out of the seasonal catalogue. This is really good because you glue peel straight off there. And all I'm going to do is just squeeze a blob of glue there. That's done. Put my glue gun out of the way then... I've got Farmer Johnny burn uh, video in it, so I don't want to burn his leg with the hot glue gun, otherwise he'll be scre screaming abdabs. And I'll just reach over and get my Tombow. Then I'm using a, a scrap of the DSP, the first edition. I'm just giving it a little scrunch to make it tattered and worn. All adds to the shabby chic look. A little bit of Tombow on the top there. That's glued now. So it was really instantaneous with the hot glue gun. I'm there, just wrapping that round. And I've done that one there. And so now to add the crumb cake ribbon and the little fabric, uh, the little, little crochet trim scrap. So all I'm doing now is just doing a flat reef knot. Under. Pull it really tight and then you get some creases in your first edition. And as I make it, pull it round and make a loop there, I just thread my scrap through. And just by eye, oh, stuck to my finger. That Tombow really is sticky today. And then pull it tight and that just secures the scrap in. And you can just go back and just 
straighten that there, pull it nice and tight and bring my scissors in, my paper snips and just tidy that edge up there, give that one, it does pull and fray but that's part of the allure. And there's one and we'll just finish the other one that I started earlier. So again, around just there, give yourself a little bit of a bit to work with. Another loop there, so we're going to come down and under. Thread it through. Pull it tight and just, as you're doing it, just have a look with your eye, see if you're pleased with that. Pull it really tight and it just gathers the paper and gives it nice and firm. There we go. Snip this edge off because it's a bit frayed for me. There. So we've got, I've got, I've got a nice stash of the cinnamon bundles. I'm just going to finish them off with a little bit of linen thread and literally I'm just going to thread the linen thread through a gap there and just knot the top. I'm going to do this on all of them but all fingers and thumbs because you're watching. And there you go, I've got a nice home decoration that I'm going to hang on some twigs that I've got collected this morning. So that's just a cinnamon bundle and it's just made with some cinnamon sticks and some products from Stampin' Up. So again, if you'd like to contact me, I'm Sally Jo Horton and there are my details. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.